Joining me now from Tucson, Arizona, president of the Family Research Council, Council Tony Perkins. Uh, Tony, this uh, HB 2491 out of Virginia, it might as well have been written by Joseph Mengele in Hitler's Germany. It is a radical piece of proposed legislation. The bill eliminates the requirement that two other physicians certify the third trimester abortion is necessary to prevent the woman's death or impairment of her mental or physical health, as well as the need to find that any such impairment to the woman's health be uh, substantial. All right. So basically what that means is anytime, any reason, you can abort a pregnancy. Just like New York's uh, new law, where anywhere from conception to the moment of birth, you can abort a baby. I mean, these, these laws, which reflect the new Democratic Party, a Marxist party that uh, wants to eliminate God, I'm, I'm sure you've covered that this week, where they wanted to remove God yeah. from the oath taken by witnesses, uh, it, it only follows. When you do this type of stuff, you don't want to be uh, reminded that you will be held accountable to God. And that's what we see happening here is this removing of any, any obstacle, barrier, pause, speed bump on the, uh, on the way to an abortion. I mean, you know, Roe's been challenged for years. Now we see the left actually challenging Roe as being too restrictive on abortion. But Graham, this is the result of elections. This is what happens when, when uh, conservatives become complacent, uh, disaffected, um, disenchanted, and they stay home. You get new leaders like this. And these are coming from states where we saw in the midterm elections the Democrats made huge gains. And they're pushing their agenda. And this is at the top. Yep. And, and you see a state like Virginia turn from red to blue. And that's exactly what has happened. Why don't we hear from the infanticide lawmaker herself as she struggles to try and justify. This is 29 seconds of hell. Roll tape where it's obvious that a woman is about to give birth. She has physical signs of, um, that she is about to give a birth. Would that still be a point at which she could request an abortion if she was so certified? She's dilating. Uh, Mr. Chairman, that would be a, you know, a decision that the doctor, the physician, and the woman I would understand make that. that. I'm asking point. if your bill allows that. My bill would allow that, yes. Uh, for the record, this pro-murderer, if you will, is uh, a lawmaker by the name of Kathy Tran. She lives in West Springfield, Virginia. If anyone wants to contact her office and possibly let her know how you feel, uh, we encourage that. But in a big picture here, uh, Tony, clearly these blue states are enshrining abortion right now in anticipation of a dynamic that is changing on the United States Supreme Court and the laws and the, and the cases that will be brought before this new dynamic at the Supreme Court. You're absolutely right. And, uh, you know, the president tweeting out about the Democrats becoming the party of uh, late-term abortion. Remember, that was really where I think he cinched the, nom the, the victory and the support of pro-lifers in that third presidential debate in Las Vegas, where he took that argument to Hillary Clinton uh, and enforced it on her in his own words about late-term abortions and, uh, and showed that he was going to be a pro-life president. But you see this, you see it in New Mexico, you see it in Rhode Island, you see one uh, bills like this in Vermont, those blue states. This has become really the banner of the new Democratic Party. It is abortion unrestricted. And it is in part, as you say, but they want to enshrine this because they see what's coming. Since uh, Roe v. Wade in 1973, we've had other court cases that have whittled away at Roe, setting the stage for, I think, America to become a predominantly pro-life nation again. You have Casey versus, or Planned Parenthood versus Casey's in 1992, uh, which gave a lot of rights back to the states to regulate abortion. You've had the partial birth abortion uh, victory at the Supreme Court. So you've had these uh, cases that are, again, setting the stage for now a court that is constitutional in its orientations to say, we can't find this in the Constitution, and I think send it back to the states and a predominant, and a predominantly America will be a pro-life nation again. But Tony, what does this say about our society that we're even talking about something as outlandish as murdering a child at the time of birth? This is something 20 years ago, 30 years ago, we would have never even, 100 years ago, certainly never would have even yes. thought about discussing. 
This is a, a, a republic, a nation, attacking itself. There's no reason it's for our true. enemies to attack us when they look at what we're doing like this. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.